We are live on KEXP. My name is Abby. I'm your host. And from listener-powered independent 90.3 FM, it's KEXP. We're independent radio streaming 24-7 at kexp.org and via the mobile apps. And uh, we're a nonprofit. These live performances are made possible by donor support. So thank you so much for making them happen. And I am so stoked to be joined today by Dream Wife. Welcome. And their latest record, Social Lubrication, is out now via Lucky Number. And shall we jump in with some songs from it? Let's do it. Awesome. Live on KEXP. Billionaire. 
in this AC. Even with the AC, it is very hot. <laughs> this next song is called Hot, Don't Date a Musician.
Pod. Getting hot in here live on KEXP. It's Dream Wife.
KEXP, we're live with Dream Wife. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that energy. Everything I needed in one room. <laughs> oh, and I love, love this new record, so, Social Lubrication. And, you know, it's such a, a loud album title. All the songs, they're very direct, and I love and appreciate that. But what does Social Lubrication mean? I mean, it's a good question, but I think in a lot of ways, it's for us, it's music. I think it's the ability for music to bring us together and like for us to all find commonality together through music. I think it's like this major thing with this record as well. It's this real celebration of our live show and we're really trying to get across that raw live sound. So it felt like the only title it could really be. <laughs> Amazing. And I've been hooked on the live energy of your show since the beginning. I, it's just, it comes with this amazing um, community that you've built over time. Like everyone is there and with you in that same, um, you know, space. And what does community mean to all of you? It's like the ways in which we can all come together, you know, it's kind of um, like Alice was saying about like music is this kind of glue that sort of unites us in our common joys and our common fears and our common like, um, you know, seeing how messed up the world is in certain ways. Um, and it's like, yeah, finding a unity, finding ways to like see beyond our differences and um, work together to make the world a bit better for everyone. Exactly. And Finding I, your freaks. I love it. And celebrating that. Let your freak flag f fly, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All of the ways. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just love the playfulness in this record. Cause yeah, like, as you said, it's like allowing, you know, everyone that feels kind of just repressed by the world's, well, ah, that's the only sound effect I have for it, but like allowing for play at these shows and in this record. And, you know, I, I think this record's like just a beautiful salute to all the bad bitches in everyone's life. And, uh, you know, the main bad bitches in my life have always been um, my grandma's. And I know there's a little bit of grandma inspiration in this record, like uh, with Hot Don't Do to Musician. And also judging by the lyrics, like curious. And I, I just want to know, how did how did grandma come into this record? Well, <laughs> uh, you know, blessed with grandmas, that's for sure. Uh, there's a song called Hot, Don't Date a Musician that we played earlier. And some of the lyrics are inspired by something that my grandma, um, well, mentioned at the <laughs> breakfast table one day, uh, which is a data plumber, data electrician, a landscape architect, even a magician, but just don't bring any more musicians to my house, Raquel. <laughs> Which is funny because I am one. <laughs> um, but it was more meant, I'm not entirely sure what it meant. I think she just, she was looking out for me. It's tricky dating musicians because, uh, saying that, she was married to two musicians. So like, Grandma. <laughs> it was one to speak, Grandma. But I think it is a tricky thing. Uh, choosing a partner when you're a musician you're rarely at home and I think it's a really honorable thing when people date us <laughs> heck yes but at the same time it was really funny writing a song about basically poking fun at yourself everyone you know anyone who's ever like you know smacked lips with us at one point <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and our community, because you gotta make you gotta make fun of yourself too. I think that's really important in music. Oh, definitely, you got. And I just love that you all have fun um, with this record and live and on tour, like in between shows. How how do you have fun? <laughs> how do we have how fun? How do we have Alice? fun? Hmm? We're always just like cracking up in the van <laughs> in a kind of jet lag -like delirium like I think it's something when you're on tour like you, you you all kind of have to be very vulnerable with each other you there's a lot of trust within a touring party and I think with that comes like you get these major highs and you get these lows and I think amongst that is just 
absolute delirium where you're hysterical and <laughs> we chose our band name quite correctly i think uh, we are essentially wives this is the longest relationship any of us has ever been in and you need to sort of treat that with your bandmates you need to you know sort of understand each other's tempos and when to step back and when to come close and forward saying that alice is engaged so you'll be an actual <laughs> wife soon yeah yeah she didn't just date a musician she's gonna marry one <laughs> we're really proud of daisy for marrying a musician Congrats. yeah yeah she's a strong lady <laughs> i love it congrats it, that's it awesome is, it is this kind of relationship you form that is so important it's choose your bandmates wisely um because it's you know it's quite a close relationship and you know we're really into alice is really into laundry Wow, the kit you have here, oh my God. That was like... That was freaking out, that washer dryer. Like, that's the dream. That was oh, really yeah. Impressive. We want to make everyone feel comfortable, you know? <laughs> you You're, did, you yeah. did. We want to keep this relationship going. <laughs> I, love, I love this kind of thing well, when we welcomed here earlier. Yeah. Um, it was like, by the way, we have a washing machine and a dryer. You're like, you know exactly what touring musicians want. Yeah. And a shower. <laughs> you have a shower? Oh, it's back there. <laughs> You had an ironing board? Mm -hmm. We are looking fresh as a daisy. I love it. <laughs> oh, but thank you so much for being here, bringing the energy and also for social lubrication. I'm so excited to see um, what's next with you. It's always playful, always fun, and just a big, like, reliever with the world around us, you know? So I appreciate you guys being here. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's really beautiful being able to play this record here. Uh, it is our favorite record by far. Alice produced it as well. Oh my gosh, exciting. And how do you feel about producing? Is this your first producing? First of our records, yeah. Oh, but it's awesome. like, I've produced a lot of our demos and our early EP. So it was like a thing where it felt like a natural progression. And as we were saying, we wanted to get this like raw live sound across on this one. So it just felt right. It was an honor to serve my wives. <laughs> And the wives have been served and like this live, you brought the live experience always to your records. And I just love that so much because it's so fun to be right there uh, with everyone jumping around and just hearing the lyrics that just really resonate with, you know, me personally. And just, I know so many. So thank you for that gift for all of us. I, re I really appreciate thank you. it. We yes. felt very held being able to c take control of this record yeah. and having Alice steering the production to address difficult subjects, to um, really get the core of that raw live sound down. Because we're a four piece, so we don't have any backing track on stage. We wanted to get that on an album. And I think we did it. I think oh, we did it. No, 100% did it. It's right there, it's forward. And you know, with the importance of bringing, you know, like gender issues tale as old as time, but what is the significance, importance for you to bring those in your music in this time and place? Well, if you have a stage, if you have a platform, you gotta use it. And essentially what we put into the music is the conversations we are having with our friends, with our community, with each other. Um, and it's raw, it's life, it's experiences and why not put that into the music? And at this time, I think, at this time, and really, to be honest, at any time, when the conversation about gender inequality starts to die down, that's when it gets scary. Exactly. It's, it definitely gets scary. Um, and, you know, it's so important to bring that community into it. And you all have built this amazing community to keep that conversation going, especially with the, all of your records. Like, it's always good to have that there and that reminder and also to even just have it in a playful way because that stuff is so hard to talk about. And then you're like, oh, I have to talk about this again, but I'm going to make it f like fun and direct and in your face. And I'm so here for that. There's also a lot of lust in this record. Oh, yeah. Lust for life, lust for... Bodily autonomy. Yeah. There's a lot of sex in this yeah, record, it's too. It's super lusty. It's yeah. super lusty. That was the theme overall. We're like, this is going to be lust for life, this record. And also the joy of being able to play it together and take the energy from the live show experience because nothing really, like, 
there's nothing else better than a live show for us. That's mm-hmm. our peak. That's why we make records so we can play them live and be a part of the beautiful musical community that you experience at live shows. Exactly. And I just love also that you brought up like the sexual aspect of it because so much I feel like, you know, women, just anyone who's not a man is like, mm, you can't talk about that. And it's just nice to have that like directness in the record. So, you know, even if someone can't feel comfortable like shouting it like just to themselves, you can do it like in this way, in this song form. And um, it's so much fun. And I bet so much fun to write too. It, but that's also, it's about trust mm-hmm. and and feeling like you can be, uh, what do you always say, Bella? Oh, a horny little minx? <laughs> I really like that saying. That I love like that. Something you'd say. And you can sort of put that in there. You can put your vulnerability, you can put your anger. Uh, we have a song called Curious that starts with, um, when I go to this sex party, I don't go south after dark. But it's just like, <laughs> um, it's a nice way to open that. Actually, we played that song for the first, one of the first times live in New York a few days ago. And a bunch of uh, panties came on stage. Mm. They were Whole throwing cotton panties, 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 panties right on stage. You're asking for the sex party. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> they were ready. They were They're, ready. You're ready. <laughs> During that song. Yeah. Um, that was. It's an anthem. I a know. panty anthem. Yeah. Why yeah. didn't we release it as a single? I know. Oh, well. But it is just, there's also another song called I Want You. And it's just about, it's just about lust mm-hmm. and allowing that horny little minx, as you say, Bella, mm-hmm. to come out to come out strong in a song form. But there's also other topics we touch upon and even the one we just played now, Social Lubrication, that the album is named after. You know, we, um, there's still a lot of dark stuff in there too, Mm -hmm. but it is taking ownership over that. Um, Some of the lyrics are referenced to stuff that has happened during our course as musicians and also um, stuff that, unsolicited advice that we've received that was purely based on our gender. Gotta, uh, <laughs> I'm just like, I was about to be sarcastic and be like, gotta love that advice, but I'm like, oh, I really, really hate it. Yeah. I, I feel you there. Yeah. Cause some of the things that have been, that were said in the song, I'm like, hmm, I've heard that one before. And I'm just like, no thanks. But, um, you know, also like what I really love is like this new single that you have out now, Love You More. Um, it's not your formulaic love song, but I really like it, it takes ownership in a different way, if you want to talk about that. It is a a sensitive, beautiful one. I'm really happy we were able to release that one. I think, yeah, the idea of like a love song to yourself feels so Mm -hmm. important. And I think, yeah, it's, yeah, it just feels like the kind of message that it fits with, you know, the record and, and like we were saying with like bodily autonomy and, the female gaze and like all these things of just like just loving yourself and having confidence in yourself um and that is one of the hardest things to do sometimes um and it also touches um like body dysmorphia Mm -hmm. and about you know you as the self of loving yourself but also loving your home loving your earth um and Oh, I'm just so happy we were able to release that song. It was one of my favorites on the record. It's a really rockin', rockin' record <laughs> you produced there, Alice. Yeah, you crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> but to have this um, the sensibility within it creates a balance, I think, overall and whole. Mm-hmm. But with um, one thing about social lubrication, there's one line that was in there that I think is pretty important that was put in the record. Uh, it's it's the line, oh no, I'm forgetting the line. Wait, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a very important line. It'll come back. It's a very important line. Hitting vibes, vibes. <laughs> but it is the line, um, they say they work with women they love, they rate them highly above. What's it like to be a woman in music, dear? You would never ask me that if you regarded me as your peer. Yeah. And I think this thing of, femininity of receiving it as being sensitive or polite or presentable also goes over into the song Love You More of it's a lot to carry um, and it's just so important to to take care of yourself 
and this kind of, you know, you don't see me as your peer, I'm not going to try to. I, I really like that line. Thank you for letting us play these songs oh, here. I love that. I was like, I love that line too. Cause you know, scrolling through your Instagram feed, especially like, it's like yelling at, I'm like, wow, there's new things that I didn't know that were wrong with me judging by these ads. And then like, it's nice when you can just pull back and have that self-acceptance and be like, come on, I'm on the same level as everybody else. Yeah. Um, please. Be kind to yourself. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, be yeah. nice to yourself. Can we have an Instagram ad that does that? <laughs> like, hey, be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just got to turn off your phone. Oh, yeah. And maybe go outside and exactly. look at some hug trees. Yeah. There we go. Yes. I love it. Hug trees, everyone. It's getting hot in here. It's Dream Wife on KEXP. Woo! <laughs> thank you for having us. Of it course. was a real honor and an absolute pleasure. Yes, thank you so much for just all of you absolutely crushing it in here. It's such a joy to be a part of. And a huge thanks to our viewers uh, tuning in and supporting sessions like this one. And these sessions are made possible by donor support, so you can donate anytime, kexp.org slash live. Also, smash that subscribe button on our YouTube channel so you don't miss a session. Awesome. And um, yeah, Dream Wife, thanks so much again. And this has been Dream Wife live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.